Hey everybody! Today on iCarry from Shooting Illustrated, we're taking a look at the Arex Delta M 9mm pistol and some related gear. Let's take a closer look at this kit. It's not often that we get to cover Slovenian firearms here on iCarry, but today we've got the Arex Delta Gen 2 Optics Ready Pistol. Striker fired and sporting the traditional bladed safety trigger, the Delta Gen 2 combines features seen on other pistols, such as interchangeable backstraps for a custom fit to the shooter's hands, simple takedown procedure, and a visible striker channel to provide a visual indication of the pistol's status. Size varies according to the model. There's a full-size pistol with a 17-round magazine and a 4.5-inch barrel, an intermediate size with the same 17-round magazine but a 4-inch barrel, and the Compact M model we have here that has a 15-round magazine and a 4-inch barrel. It's pretty obvious which sizing convention the Arex Delta series follows. Weight of the M is 19.1 ounces, overall height is 4.7 inches, and the width is 1.18 inches at the widest point. The Arex Delta M is well suited as a concealed carry handgun. The optics ready package for the Arex Delta is interesting and deserves a bit of attention. A series of five plates are available covering a variety of mounting footprints including RMR, Dr. Burris, Delta Point Pro, Seymour Vortex, and RMS J-Point. Each plastic plate is mounted to the slide via four screws, while the optic mounts to the plate via traditional screws that mate to nuts placed on the underside of the plate. It takes a bit of figuring out, and there's a lot of torque measuring that needs to take place, and if you thought, like I do, that the Glock MOS system is attachment heavy, well, there's six screws here compared to the MOS's four. It does work, it allows for a wide variety of optics, but you're gonna need a micro torque wrench and some time. Once you've got the optic mounted though, the Arex Delta M is similar in operation to most striker fired pistols. Arex builds the trigger as a true double action, pointing out that the striker spring in the Arex is only partially compressed, meaning that more pressure is needed to activate the striker, which Arex feels adds an extra measure of safety. In that same vein, the Arex Delta M can also be ordered with a manual safety. All this in an optics ready package for less than $500? That's a deal worth investigating. While we've lamented the lack of gear for less traditional pistols, the folks at A&R Holsters have a stock solution for the Arex Delta in the company's appendix holster with polymer claw. Specifically molded for the Arex Delta, the appendix holster sports single sheet kydex construction, a concealment claw to help tuck the holster into the body for less printing, and a sturdy polymer belt clip. It's a minimalist setup that works well to conceal even a mid-sized pistol like the Arex Delta. A&R Holsters appendix holsters are available for a wide variety of pistols and can be ordered in an impressive array of designs and colors. Belt clips are available for 1.5 and 1.75 inch belts, a DCC monoblock can be added as an upgrade, and left hand models are available. All ANR holsters are cut for optics bearing pistols and have an enlarged sight channel to allow for taller sights. Since the Arex Delta M is optics ready, it made sense to add a red dot sight. We've opted for the True Glow XR21 red dot sight, new for 2022. This RMSC footprint sight offers a 3 MOA red dot. 10 brightness settings, and an auto off feature that preserves battery life for a claimed 20,000 hour runtime. When idle for four minutes or more, the unit powers down and has a motion sensing wake feature when needed and returns to the last power setting used upon waking. Constructed from aircraft grade aluminum and offering a multi-coated lens, the XR21 is water resistant to IPX7 standards. A Picatinny rail mount is included with the sight should it be intended for use as a rifle or shotgun sight or for pistols so equipped. A standard CR1632 battery, included, powers the sight and is located on the underside of the unit. For more information on the items we've chosen for today's kit, or to see other guns and gear combinations, visit shootingillustrated.com. And, as always, stay tuned for more episodes of iCarry.